Well, those in Port Aransas who evacuated are finally getting a chance to look at the damage caused by Harvey. From noon until 6 p.m. today, they will be given limited access to see it firsthand. Now, we do have our Jane Caffrey with us live in Port Aransas. She joins us on the telephone. Jane, what can you tell us about today's visit? Yeah, Mike, thousands of Port Aransas residents are really eager to get into their hometown, and evidence of that is seen in those pictures you have there. You can see this line of cars stretching all the way down Highway 361. We're being told that this is about a two-mile line of cars going out from the city limit. Now, and now that it is noon, police are starting to check IDs and letting people into Port Aransas just now. Cars are slowly trickling into the city. And if you are a Port Aransas resident, this is what you need to know. It is limited access. It is for residents only, as you mentioned today, from noon to 6. You do need a valid ID with your Port Aransas address on it. And no children will be let in. You have to be 18 plus. City leaders are also asking that you wear heavy-duty boots and bring in gloves and asking that you go straight to your home, do what you need to do, and leave by 6. City leaders are also telling us that they are trying to do this again tomorrow from 9 to 6, but that's something that's still in the works at this point. But obviously, people are very eager to see what has happened to their hometown and their, their homes just based on this line of hundreds of hundreds of cars that are slowly trickling into Port Aransas right now. Mike? All right, Jane, thank you so much for that. We're told that uh, what you're looking at, that's about 11 miles from the center of the city, so there's a lot of ground to cover right there. We do have one other important piece of information for anyone who may be planning on heading to Port Aransas. The ferry crossing remains closed. It shut down Friday morning and is still out of service. In fact, the only way to and from Port Aransas right now is State Highway 361. There's a lot of traffic on that highway because of recovery efforts. So if you're headed that way, you do go, need to go ahead and just be prepared for delays.